In this lesson, you'll be finding the percent of a number. So for example, 15% of 70 is what number? So we're finding the percent, the percentage of this number, 15% of 70. Okay. There are a couple ways to do this. We can simply kind of translate this sentence into a mathematical equation. So 15%, we can write that as a decimal. We divide by 100 to make it into a decimal, which is 0 and 15 hundredths. Of translates to multiplication. 70 is simply 70. Is means equal. And what number? We can use a variable. I'll use n. Okay, so now we have 15 hundredths times 70 equals n. So now if we multiply that, we get 10 and 5 tenths equals n. So 15% of 70 is what number? So if, we were to, if this were a test, there were 70 points on the test, you got 15% on your test, that means the part that you got was 10 and a half points. You got 10 and a half points out of 70 to get a 15%. Not a great percentage. We can also do this by setting up proportions. Okay, if we do part over whole, part over whole. 15% is an easy um, ratio. It's 15 per 100. It's the part over the whole, 15%. 70 is the total number of questions on the test. And a good way to know if it's the part of the whole is the of tells you that the, the whole is coming up. That's the whole. And what we're doing is we're finding the part. So now we'll use cross products. We have 100 times n equals 15 times 70. Okay. And when we do that, we get 100 times n equals 1050. Now I'll isolate the variable. I will divide by 100 on both sides of the equation. And when I do that, I get n equals, and if I divide by 100 over here, I get 10 and 5 tenths as well. So you can do it either with an equation or with setting up proportions and doing the cross products. That's the end of our lesson on finding the percent of a number.